price flex. Absolutely aesthetic. Greetings, Laddingtons. So it finally happened, or it happened again. My Instagram has been deleted and uh, I thought to talk a bit about it. Um, again, speaking in technical terms, I didn't have any violations. I hadn't posted anything in particular that got me banned. So um, yeah, this is from, from higher up, I um, suspect. Um, you know, I'm on some sort of list. They say this guy can't be on this social media. He's too successful. He's too popular. Thank you. Thank you. I feel quite... Uh, <laughs> I take it as a compliment. I take it as a compliment that you view me as uh, such a threat. And uh, as I said in my latest YouTube video, you know, it's more, uh, it's more potent to post physique than to post politics. And, uh, you know, my Twitter still up, no, no issues at all, where I actually do post more politics. Um, so Twitter, no problem. F posting lifestyle, posting family pictures, posting physique to Instagram. Yeah, that is something different, so they had to shut it down. Uh, now, of course, if anyone who works for Instagram is watching this, I would very much appreciate it if you could allow me to download all of the pictures at least um, to have for my own sake, but don't worry, I won't use your platform anymore on a personal level. Um, and you know, this is something I said on Telegram and Gab and Minds two weeks ago, the first time it happened. You know, I don't feel at all like using Instagram anymore because of it. So even if I, for some miraculous reason, would get it back now, um, no, I won't, I won't spend any time or energy producing content there. I don't want to give anyone a reason to be still on there either. And I don't think you should be, because you might be. You will probably get banned or blocked anyway. So um, yeah, that's the update. I will see if I can, you know, take legal action against it. Someone might say, yeah, it's a private company. Uh, yeah, it is a company, but you know, just because you're a company it doesn't mean you can behave in uh, whatever way you please, especially if you can't point to, you know, a certain, um, you know, a violation or anything. I didn't have any violations. But anyone who's, you know, let's let's be real with each other here in our in our forest walk, myself and my esteemed supporters. It's not about what I posted, it's about who I am. They see me being a public dissident, so therefore I have to, I have to go. Um, you know, a bit of a low blow going after someone's personal stuff like that. It's not something I would do, but that's what makes me a better man as well than the opposition. And that's why people love me. And again, Instagram, people don't like you. I don't think you who decided to shut me down, maybe you're watching this. Ask yourself, why do people like me and why do people not respect you? Yeah, probably because I behave in a, in a higher manner. I don't do stuff like that. And um, yeah, short-term victory to behave in that sort of way, long-term loss. Um, history shows us this. It's uh, never a good long-term strategy to behave in a nefarious manner. Anyway, I have also backed up all of my YouTube videos. I can't tell you where because that would actually be to go against YouTube's um, guidelines and uh, I completely understand it. I completely understand that YouTube do not want um, you know people talking about other platforms but uh, yeah you I'm sure you can find my videos somewhere else if you want. That being said as I recently announced, I have no plans to talk about anything controversial on YouTube. This is now only a... Well, I'm going back to my roots with the channel. So it's back to self-improvement and uh, I'm looking forward to making more Gaines Kitchens videos. I'm also looking forward to getting back into good shape so I can post physique. Post physique videos. 
so I can comment that's an aesthetic physique so that you can admire how massive and glorious I am good times anyway I thought to talk about something similar um, this is the end of an era you know I've had my Instagram since 2013 a lot of memories it's been a you know part of my life sort of in the same way as you would have a, a good friend but then something happens that makes your you know you can't be such good friends anymore not necessarily because uh, you disagree or dislike each other but because you move from one another or something sort of the same feel I have now and let me tell you about the good old days the good old days this was four or five years ago or something in Uppsala city of the gods and believe you me we had such a lineup of of glorious Laddingtons there and uh, in retrospect I didn't realize what a luxury it was now this isn't a video on male friendship I will talk about the importance of it in a coming podcast you know all deeper issues are now on the podcast um, so make sure to be subscribed but anyway what good times they were and uh, that's something I miss I don't really know why I mentioned it now but uh, I wanted to say it at least if you have good friends and you live near them you have a luxury and make the most out of it hug your friends and tell them that they are that you hate but uh, they know because you have banter between you they know it's uh, it actually means you love them and that you that you appreciate them so uh, yeah you you know how it is male banter like that the um, the recent year um, with less social interaction has made me yeah getting a different perspective on things you know when you miss something when you suddenly don't have it anymore you start realizing it's important for you anyway back to talking about Instagram of course it was nice um, having it as a platform but you know going forward um, even if I were to have my Instagram even without any problems the time for alternative platforms uh, it's here and you might think oh I will keep being on certain platforms and of course you should I'm not saying that you should quit Instagram uh, but it might be an idea to not spend so much time producing content and value you can of course if you have a place where you produce value and content you can repost it to Instagram or whatever but uh, I don't think I don't think it feels right to you know produce exclusive good content for a platform which uh, behaves in this way so anyway it is the end of an era and uh, you know all the things going on in the world um, state repression censorship I always try of course to to white pill you to have a good attitude to view life from the the bright side of life but yeah I will be completely honest as well um, I don't particularly feel I don't particularly feel all too optimistic and uh, too white pill um, you know I would say this I might be wrong I hope I'm wrong I hope extremely much I'm wrong but I do believe tougher times lie ahead and um, yeah it can be good to keep that in mind so even if we're talking about escapism and stuff um, you know I had a good Christmas escaping you know reading books etc trying to not focus on the, the fate of the world so much but then come January and reality hits you uh, reality will hit you sooner or later um, not particularly fun what it does but it's something you need to keep in mind I'm especially a bit sad and worried for my American friends um, I don't really know what to say here I'm just saying stay strong and with you in spirit um, to all of my European friends same thing really it's not all too much difference between all of the various uh, nations in the West these days so anyway the end of an era and uh, perhaps the beginning of a new era you make it 
it is what you make it. You can make it into something good, a new exciting start, or you can view it in um, with lament. But you know, everything has its time. Um, in my case, Instagram, yeah, maybe it was time. Maybe it was time for me to move on. And hopefully Instagram will go the way of MySpace or something. Hopefully they will collapse because uh, people do not want to be there anymore. So now this is something I will post to Telegram. This is the wellspring of eternity. Okay, maybe it looks a bit cooler with um, just my eye like that, but um, yeah, good stuff at least, good stuff. So lastly, I will say that in regards to YouTube, I will get back to my my arrogant cockiness. I think I have, you know, I've tried to moderate myself a bit, uh, not only in terms of um, not talking too openly about politics, but also in regards to not being as uh, being as real as I used to be um, was actually on a Swedish podcast shout out Ulle, great guy and we talked about it and he said because he is also he has his podcast Självförbättringspodden in Swedish self-improvement podcast in, um, in Swedish and he said he's been a long term uh, long time follower of mine subscriber and he said you know I miss those days and I said to him the same thing that yeah I have you know not been myself enough i have you know put a lid on myself a bit and uh, i know a lot of guys they miss the the bit more narcissistic or playful so i will try to let let that come back in a natural way you know letting myself be going up in that mood and of course if we're as i said in that podcast episode if you see me 3 p.m. on a Monday going into the gym. Yeah, you will see me, you know, having my earphones in, focusing on my own things, and then I go home. But if you see me, um, five valiant Laddingtons, and we have a good time in the gym on a Saturday, 3 p.m., and we've all been, you know, pre workouting or whatever, it will be a completely different person almost that is there because the energy is different and I think I, I need to be less um, you know all serious all the time uh, you can have the intellectually stimulating content on uh, on the podcast and then moving forward I will have the um, yeah a bit more lighthearted will go back to being a bit more myself um, on um, on the other videos so anyway that's the plan for YouTube um, anyway to conclude this video uh, I will of course try to appeal the Instagram decision, but uh, even if I get it back, I will not be active there anymore. You can find me on uh, Minds and Gab instead. Uh, I will continue to post a bit to Twitter, uh, but I will have the main account, Telegram, uh, and then we'll take it from there. And uh, yeah, I hope that you also you take this as an opportunity to maybe get off Instagram or to get to some other platform or whatever it might be uh, because it doesn't feel good what uh, what they are doing I'll see if I can regain all my pictures again anyone on Instagram it would be much appreciated if you can help me um, but anyway I will see you all on uh, Telegram XXO Ooh. surprise flex see already back already back in um, in arrogance posting I won't say narcissism because it's not the actual narcissism it's just a, a bit of fun but anyway admire the wellspring of eternity in addition to can't really see but uh, yeah I, I'm sure the arms look absolutely great underneath the clothing so now thank you for watching XXO boom